the choristers of bel canto and melodious madcaps want to share with you God's great gift of salvation. Paul, in his letter to the Corinthians, says, The greatest of these is love. It is this love of God that sent Jesus for our salvation. This song is a beautiful expression of what we can do for our Lord Jesus Christ. As the melodious madcaps hang out their hallelujahs to the Lord, what else can we do? but sing Amen.
burden. Burdened not only by the cares of this world, but our own fears, anxieties, and uncertainties. The word of the Lord comes strongly, particularly during these times, as it says in Isaiah chapter 41, verse 10. Do not be afraid, for I am with you. So, will you cast your burden upon the Lord? Oh, 
worship initially spoke about the gift of salvation through God's love. We were called to cast our burden upon the Lord, have the courage and vision to follow Jesus and sing victory to God. We were also filled with the Holy Spirit and danced, but also we bore fruit. The next song exemplifies what we are called to do. Raise our voices for those who cannot speak express God's love and compassion to all, to help those affected by an unjust society, share the good news, lighten the darkness, and transform lives of, through the love of God. Come Lord, change our love from a spark to a flame. We are now joined by Grant Hendrik Uncle to sing his song, Beauty for Brokenness. So joined by some wonderful musicians uh, from Chennai.
Isn't that beautiful? Jesus says, when you pray, say, Daddy, Father. Ooh, amazing. Anybody pleased about that? Yes. 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 Very good. So, uh, I hope you're up for the learning new songs. This one is uh, it's quite, quite new. Uh, I wrote it with some friends of mine um, not that long ago, and I've just started using it. And it's about value. It's, uh, it's called My Worth is Not in What I Own. And you can listen to it and then begin to join in as, uh, as it goes on.
<laughs> no. Somebody said, no, somebody said, yes, I would. Please don't. Now, nobody, nobody's quite true to that, I'm sure. Now, the reason why is because I kind of, those kind of words, I think when we read them in, the they start to make a difference to us, you know? And they start to change our, our thinking because uh, we live in a world, in a culture, that uh, is all about performance. No? Have I got that wrong? Especially in a, in a, in a training hospital and a college and... <laughs> Come on! You know, you, Indians have a reputation for extremely hard work and for doing business and for getting on and passing exams. It's fantastic! <laughs> We're impressed. Sometimes we say to our lazy English people, look at those Indians, how hard they work. You should be like that too. And it's great, it's great to achieve. Only one problem. If we are working hard just so that people love us, no, it doesn't work in the end, does it? Huh? It's not just about hard work. The song lists several things. My worth is not in what I own. It's not what you have. You don't value the. You don't measure the value of a human being by their wealth. It's not in strength. What is it? In? Well, God has made His statement about the value of a human being, and He demonstrated it incredibly graphically at the cross. And it's like he points to the picture of Jesus dying on the cross for us and saying, that is how much I love you. I did that for you. Was that amazing? Hello. <laughs> Thank you very much. It's good to hear you spoke to the Uh, I tell you what, sir, any, any Pentecostals here tonight? They have a reputation of being noisy, so let's all pretend we're Pentecostals tonight. Somebody say hallelujah! hallelujah. Somebody say amen! amen. Somebody say hmm! <laughs> Somebody say yeah! <laughs> You're getting the idea. <laughs> Alright, so let's sing my word. We'll stay seated. Uh, I may get you st standing later on, but I want you to take it in, take it in, take it in, that you are loved with an incredible, everlasting love.
There's a rich man worth more than a poor man A stranger worth less than a friend There's a baby worth more than an old man Your beginning worth more than your end Is a president worth more than he is a assassin Does your value decrease with your own crime? Like when Christ took the place of Barabbas Would you say he was wasting his time? Well, how much do you think you are worth? Will anyone stand up and say Would you say that a man is worth nothing Until someone is willing to pay free to sing the chorus if you like. Well, I suppose that you think that you matter. Well, how much do you matter to who? It's much easier at night when with friends bright lights and much later alone. Do he think they'll miss one in a billion? This old human race Does it really make much of a difference When your friends have forgotten your face Well, how much do you think you are worth? Will anyone stand up and say Would you say that a man is worth nothing Till someone is But if you heard that your life had been valued, that a price had been paid on the nail, would you ask what was traded, how much, and who paid it, and who was he, and what was his name? If you heard that his name was called Jesus, would you say that the price was too dear? To the cross, not by nails, but by love. It was you who broke his heart, not the spear. Would you say you are worth what it cost him? You say no, but the price stays the same. If it don't make you cry, laugh it off, pass it by. But just remember the day when you throw. Tell me what are you willing to give in return for the price that he paid? I think you know this one, so let's stand together and sing. Amazing love, my Lord, what love is this? Some of you know it anyway. Would you stand? Thank you. And at the
Thank you. 